This is the Honda FCX Clarity. It's a hydrogen fuel cell car. And no, you can't have one. Now, essentially, the FCX Clarity is the future, I guess. One possible future. Um, other possible futures include electric cars, natural gas cars, more efficient gasoline cars, um, and hydrogen-powered cars. Um, it's really not all that different than an electric car. If you've ever driven an electric car, chances are you haven't. There's tons of power and torque down low. Um, it is very quiet and it's very nice to chat with your passengers in. Um, this interior is actually quite serene. The, it's a very efficient and green car and uh, it's sort of even down to the, the seat fabrics which are made uh, from plant materials. Now the FCX was introduced in, uh, in 2008 and they've been making it for a few years, obviously. Um, they're about 25 in the US. Um, you can lease one if you live in California and you give about $600 a month. You can't have one if you live in Canada, um, which kind of sucks because it's really nice to drive. But that's because the hydrogen fueling infrastructure is uh, pretty much non-existent in this country. Um, even in the US, your range is pretty much limited to certain parts of California. Now, I think the most interesting thing about the Clarity is that it's not all that much different than a normal car. And I don't know what I'd really expect. Um, you know, Honda knows how to make good cars and they know how to make very well put together and fuel efficient vehicles. So it's kind of no surprise that they can apply those talents to something powered by a hydrogen fuel cell. However, with the new technology, you're, you're sort of expecting bugs or quirks or things like that. And I mean, apart from the range, which is right around 380 kilometers, um, you wouldn't notice that much different from a normal Honda Accord. Now, I think it's fantastic that Honda and other automakers are working on hydrogen cars because the future of mobility isn't just going to be gasoline or diesel or electric or hydrogen or, or whatever. It's going to be a mix of things. And um, although this vehicle costs, well, they won't tell me, but probably more than $150,000 or at least in that ballpark, um, you know, you're not going to be going down to your local dealer and buying one anytime soon, but it is just a fantastic display of how far we've come.